what's up my honey buns welcome back welcome back welcome back so if you're new here welcome to the a game welcome to the honey bun game where everything is all sweet over here all right y'all so i pretty much just want to talk about hold on let me get my lips together I already feel a mess, but it's so it's okay, it's cool. All right, so basically I want to talk about my personal experience with the difference between Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and YouTube. Cause I'm not on Twitter. Never been, never desired to be on Twitter. Well, I know it's called X now, and I'm sure we all know why it's called X. Comment down below <laughs> if you know why it's called X. Okay. All right. So, y'all. Um, to me. Personally, I feel like Facebook is just messy all around. Messy. Got my iced coffee on. That little blue app is messy as hell, y'all. Like, as soon as you get on there, it's just negative stuff after negative stuff after negative after negative you got some positive but it's not all the way positive and i say out of 100 percent, it's probably 40 percent positive and 60 percent negative i think that's a good ratio i was gonna say 50 50 then i was gonna say 80 20 but I probably should have said 70 30. <laughs> but um or 90 10. But y'all, Facebook is like when I think of Facebook, I think of like say for instance, if you thought of a classmate or an old coworker or something like them, like, oh, I wonder what such and such doing or how they doing, how they been. And you think of their full name and you're like, okay, well, let me go type their name in the Facebook and see if they'll pop up. I feel like Facebook is a people search engine in a way. And then you just post whatever and it's, it be so negative. Like you be finding out about Keisha, Pookie, Ray Ray, Taekwondo, Kwanisha, them. like you just Aquafina them and her husband. Like you just it's just so messy it's so messy and so negative and people try to you know use these social media sites to build their be build their brands and promote their businesses and things like that not to say that you can't because you still can um some people would prefer you to have a business page but y'all don't even be liking a business page you so focused on what's going on in tay tay them house you know what i'm saying so I just rather not with Facebook. Although I'm on there, I just, you know, when I get on there, I schedule my posts and I get right off. Um, my friends or whomever would send me reels on Facebook and Instagram. And baby, them reels will sit there for probably a month before I check them, okay? Like, I'm just, this how bad I don't want to be on there. I even took a fast from social media. And I'm just like, what am I fasting from? Because I don't be on there. You know, but anyway, comment down below if you feel the same way about Facebook. Like, let me know if you feel the same way about any of these that I'm talking about. All right, so Instagram. With Instagram, I feel like Instagram is a facade. Like, everybody on there is just trying to make their life seem like it's just so perfect and they're so happy. And 
they're just living this big happy life some may some may i'm not knocking it but i just feel like and I don't, and y'all, please don't come for me because some, some people probably feel like, okay, well, for you to say things like that, you must really feel like that. No, yeah, I'm, I'm going off what I know. Like, I know people, some people in real life who don't live the life that they post on Instagram. That's not my business because I don't care because you're, you're, I'm gonna let this one down because I'm kind of hot, y'all. I don't care about what you got going on. And I'm not saying that you're supposed to post the negative because I won't want to post my negative either. However, if it's a testimony, I'm going to post it. If God tell me to do it, I'm going to do it. And um, one thing I have realized is that people are going to talk about you regardless of whatever social site that you're posting on if you post positive if you post negative if you post with clothes on if you post naked if you post you in the church whatever people still gonna have something to say but to me i just personally feel like instagram is just so fake you know like it's inspirational in a way but then I feel like it creates you to be something you're not, if that makes sense. Like, it can glow you up, but it can slow you down, if that makes sense. Like, say for instance, say for instance, you have somebody with bad self-esteem, right? And they get on Instagram, and they see these other beautiful people or handsome men or whatever, and it's like they're living their life um they some of them may have a boo you know bae whatever dress nice going to different places posting money and you you know just sitting there like hmm must be nice okay so then you go get on a, a dating site and try to find somebody you get in this relationship knowing good and doggone well you weren't ready for no relationship but you're ready to post you're ready to post the things that they've been posting. You're ready to post um, vacations. And you're ready to post you uh, shopping and stuff like that. Like, just because they posted them with their person don't mean you had to go and find a person just to post. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do that, you ain't getting no likes, no views, no shares, no none of that. Why? Because that wasn't for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, what's for them is working for them. And what's for you that that's for you but their life is not yours so you can't just up and you know what i'm saying create a life based off there so that's why i feel like instagram is a facade and you know but you got people out here making money off the reels and stuff like that um i've made money off facebook yeah i've made money off facebook so facebook reels um, but yeah, moving on to Snapchat, <laughs> y'all, I really, I really don't have much to say about Snapchat like that because we all know why we use Snapchat, like, come on. Snapchat, I personally use Snapchat for the pictures. I like to use, I don't have to use filters. Let's, let's be clear. Although I feel like I look a mess, I don't have to use filters. But sometimes, depending on the mood, I mean, I would prefer a filter over my picture. Um, Y'all, the birds sound so beautiful. the simple things but yes um filters and you got some celebrities that will put their shenanigans or their wildlife 
on Snapchat versus Instagram because nine times out of ten they know what's gonna make the shade room on Instagram. Hell, it may even make the shade room on Snapchat, but I feel like Snapchat is one of those places where you let your wretched side out. <laughs> You can let your wretched side out on Snapchat, okay? So, I ain't got much to say about Snapchat. Snapchat is Snapchat, okay? <laughs> However, I... <laughs> with the DMs on Snapchat, you know, you can save them. You know, you can... uh if you're sneaking, going through, you know, your boo phone or whatever, and they come in writing with somebody and they say bestie you know that they've been talking to this person for a, a long time i ain't trying to out nobody i ain't trying to get no secrets away or nothing like that but i'm just saying snapchat snapchat a little sneaky but you know do your thing do your thug feels all these all these social media sites sneaky okay but do your thug feels or whatever that ain't my business all right so tiktok y'all i go to tiktok when i need a good laugh i do like tiktok is funny as heck okay um now i will say i haven't been on tiktok in a while haven't been on tiktok in a while because when I went on my social media fast, I just fasted from everything except YouTube. And I get to that. I'll come back to that. But whenever I, like, say for instance, when I was working my nine to five, I'd be on TikTok and YouTube. That was it. I scheduled whatever I'm going to do for Facebook and Instagram, but I would get on TikTok for a good laugh. If I wasn't in the right mental headspace, I would get on TikTok. TikTok is so funny. TikTok is also educational. And that's why they're trying to ban TikTok because they're putting all this stuff that you need to know, excuse me, about the country of the world, the economy, everything, Christianity, different things, health wise, all that. They're putting that out there on TikTok. And you need to educate yourself. Like they're putting things on TikTok that you can't even find on Google. So this that's why they're trying to ban TikTok. You ain't never heard of nobody. You ain't never heard of them trying to ban Facebook. Well, I haven't. I ain't heard of nobody trying to ban Instagram. I ain't heard of nobody trying to ban Snapchat. I ain't heard of nobody trying to ban Twitter. I ain't heard of nobody trying to ban Vine. Uh uh what was the old one we was on? Uh Black Planet. I ain't heard of nobody trying to ban those sites. But TikTok. It's so weird to me. It's so weird to me. But I love TikToks. I love TikTok. I would rather watch TikToks than to sit and scroll looking at reels and stuff like that. If I do find myself on Instagram or Facebook scrolling on looking at reels, I can guarantee you it's probably hair or makeup. Because that's what fascinates me. Or motivational speakers. Um bible scriptures you know devotional some something of this sort that's what will keep me engaged but tiktok people in these skits and stuff y'all it be so hilarious whenever i'm feeling down and out i'm going to tiktok <laughs> that's just that's just point blank period after i pray though because i'm gonna go to god first and then I may find my way on TikTok. All right, y'all. So I talked about Facebook. I talked about Instagram. I talked about Snapchat. I talked about um, TikTok. Last but not least, YouTube. YouTube the tube. Yeah, I love, I love YouTube. I had to say the best for last because I love YouTube, okay? YouTube University, <laughs> very educational. YouTube, I love YouTube University. You can look up anything, how to do this, how to do that, when's a good time to do this. It's just very educational, very entertaining as well, just like TikTok. 
Yo. YouTube. I I my, I created my YouTube channel 2015. I've been on YouTube ever since 2015. And YouTube has gone through a lot of changes. Like when I very first started YouTube, it didn't take off, but then it it did take off because I ended up getting monetized back in the day, like 20 um 2016 or 2017 i i got monetized you know they sent me to google adsense and all that but um now it's now it's hard it's, it's it's really hard but you can do it don't give up you know if you want to start a youtube channel you can do it youtube i i find myself listening to a lot of sermons on youtube um, a lot of testimonies on YouTube. Sometimes when I don't make it to church on a Sunday, I would listen to the different preachers on YouTube. And I call it my bedside Baptist. My bedside ministry. Um, and that's my relationship with God. You know, I do make it to church sometimes and I, and I don't, but not to get off topic, but y'all, YouTube is the way to go. It really is. Um, I personally feel like you could probably make a lot of money on YouTube versus these other sites. I don't know. I've never made money off of TikTok and stuff like that. I don't think I was really trying because y'all, you give me a camera and I'm going to show you what to do with it, okay? But that's just my passion. I don't get up here and be like, oh, let me create this and hope that it blow up. Because God gonna make it do what it needs to do. He gonna make it do what it needs to do. But out of all of those social media sites, I prefer YouTube. YouTube is gonna be my number one. TikTok is gonna be my number two. Um, Snapchat will be my number three. Instagram will probably be my number four. And Facebook will be last. Facebook will be my number five. I feel like if I was running out of storage on my phone... And it was like you and those were the apps that lined up that said that that needs to be gone. Knowing me, I would probably delete three out of the five, or maybe four out of the five, because YouTube ain't going nowhere. YouTube ain't going nowhere. Okay, YouTube ain't going nowhere. YouTube is a must-have. So, y'all. You can be yourself on YouTube. You can really be yourself on any of these um, platforms. But I think for certain people to try to, you know, keep certain people entertained, they have to fake different stuff and do different stuff that's not them. Like, it's not you. But if that's what floats your boat, if that's what got your money, your coins coming in, then do that, honey. It's none of my business. But YouTube... I feel like you can get on here and be yourself for real. Like put that camera on you. You don't, even if you don't have a camera, get your phone. Preferably in, in an iPhone. But if you got an Android, do your thug fizzle. I ain't no judgment over here. I'm just saying camera quality. Y'all camera quality be good. But then sometimes when it comes to a video and then try to it, trying to edit it, it's kind of like distorted a little bit. So, but start off with an iPhone. Turn that camera on and just press record. And sometimes you don't necessarily just have to edit. Just post it and see where it go. That's going to be another video for another day on how to 
try to try to maneuver through YouTube. But I just want to come to y'all to talk about how I personally feel about the different social sites. Comment down below and tell me how you feel about each one of them. Tell me which one is your favorite. Comment down below and let me know which one would you delete if you had to delete. Comment down below. If y'all want to share y'all Instagram name, go ahead. We can all follow and subscribe and do whatever, you know. Stay connected with each other. It don't matter to me. But just comment down below and let me know how you personally feel about it. So if you like this video so far, like, comment, subscribe to your girl channel. Join the A-Gang, join the Honey Bun Gang with everything all sweet over here. Don't you want to be in the sweet life? We don't want to live no sour, bitter, watered down life. We we want to we wanna be in a sweet life. Not the sweet life of Zach and Cody. The, the sweet life of the A-Gang and the Honey Bun Gang. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>